this, I hardly need to tell you, is the new Renault 19 and it fits very neatly into the biggest sector of the car market. As I've driven most of the other cars in that sector, the Astra, the Escort, the Maestro, the Golf and more recently the Tipo and the Peugeot 309, I thought it only right and fair that I should sample the handling and the driving qualities of this car. But that really is just a treat for me. The real purpose of this program is to re-emphasize the benefits and the features of the car so that you can sell it more successfully. And the best way to do that is by using the five-point walk-around. That is the easiest and most effective way for you to remember those key benefits and features. And if it works for you, well, it'll work for your customer as well. And that should enable you to capture those vital sales more profitably. So here we are, in the showroom where your skill comes into its own. The five-point walk-around starts here, at the front. From this point, you can readily show the design, the steeply raked front and no grille, the air intake being below the front bumpers. The wraparound bumpers themselves are built into the body. There's the bonded windscreen too, and all those features not just pleasing to look at. They also have the much more practical effect of reducing wind resistance. The TR, for example, has a CD of 0.30. That means that wind noise is reduced, and so is the amount of fuel being used. And that brings us to the engine, where the combination of economy and performance is a crucial factor. The 1390cc energy engine fitted to the TS, GTS and TSE is totally new, with a twin-choke carburetor, electronic ignition and a cross-flow cylinder head, allowing the gases to flow across the cylinder, improving combustion and producing a high level of performance. New technology allows the second choke to be brought into action without pause, so the acceleration is smoother and firmer, even at high speeds. This new technology combines to produce an engine of just 1390cc, which has good fuel economy and an impressive power performance, 80 brake horsepower. And there's the Renault 19's new generation 1870cc diesel engine, which is fitted to the GTD. It will appeal to the customer because not only does it have the characteristic diesel fuel economy, it also provides more power and more performance more quietly. It includes, too, one feature unique to Europe, and that's a post-heating system which cuts down noise and smoke emission when cold, factors which often put customers off buying a diesel. There are two other petrol engines in the range, a modified 1397cc economy unit fitted to the TR with its major feature, fuel economy, 58.9 miles per gallon at a constant 56 miles per hour, and there's a 1721cc motorway engine with a modified twin choke carburetor and electronic ignition, two major features which make the car ideal for motorway driving. For example, it has a top speed of 114 miles an hour, better than its direct competitors. All the engines have been modified for cleaner burning and easy maintenance. That means the three petrol engines run on unleaded fuel without modification. And the need for that traditional first service has gone on all four engines, so it's cheaper for the customer and the car spends less time off the road. There are three equipment levels for each of the four engines. And there's a fifth engine just round the corner. The car is not just powerful and stylish. It also represents a major step forward in terms of quality. The new Renault 19 reverses the trend towards lighter and lighter vehicles. In fact, it's 70 kilos heavier than its predecessor, the Renault 11. This is because the side panels are almost 40% thicker while the steel on the floor pan is 30% thicker. That, coupled with fewer structural components and more of a single body unit, makes for a vehicle that rides better over the bumps and is safer in front end and side on collisions. The Renault 19 is a sturdy vehicle, certainly not as tinny or rackly as some of its competitors. Quality and durability go hand in hand. 
the 19 is well protected from road chippings and the worst of the weather. And that means less corrosion underwritten by Renault's anti-perforation warranty. Quality is not just confined to the car body. It's also translated into the way the car handles. Angles on the suspension have been redesigned for more positive and responsive handling and road holding. And that in turn means less wear on the tyres, better fuel economy and less road noise. And to ensure that your customer can have confidence in the quality of the car, there's the exhaustive testing of every single component. An intensive non-stop programme through water, Arctic frost and wind and more than 4.6 million miles of road testing. That's the equivalent of 10 return trips to the moon, and all to achieve top quality and reliability. And so to position two in the walk round, from the front to the near side. From here can be seen the discreet and stylish side badging and the electric glass sunroof, a standard feature from the GTS upwards, providing ventilation that's not only draft free, but also safe to operate on the move as well. And there's a choice too of door mirrors on this version, with the standard normally adjustable ones, or the optional ones like these, heated and electronically operated, with a built-in sensor to relay the external temperature to the computer. Note too the absence of gutter rails. They've been replaced by grooves and that produces less wind noise. And so to the next stage in the walk round, the rear. As the car is front wheel drive, it has a low loading height, making it easier to get items in and out. The rear suspension consists of torsion bars going across the underside of the car and that means plenty of clear, free space with few intrusions. The 60-40 split rear seat adds versatility. The rear wash wipe is an added safety feature. While the car's aerodynamic styling with its high back gives it a distinctive look and better fuel economy. Moving on now to the next stage of the walk round, the offside. The windows are tinted to reduce glare. They also add to the look of the car. The doors are autoclave, which means more space inside, less wind noise, and they look good. As for the wheels, that's up to the customer. They can choose either light alloy or aerodynamic trim on this TXE and the TSE. And that takes us to the final stage of the walkaround, the interior. The seats are computer designed with sturdiness and strength in mind. This is because they're made in one single unit, completely different to the seats in the Renault 11. The result is a much more solid feel. They're larger, wider, more comfortable and more adjustable than ever before. They're fully reclinable and, depending on the version, also have adjustable lumbar support, height adjustment and fore-aft head restraints. Space has been a major consideration. Overall, it's longer than its competitors, with a longer wheelbase, and that gives the new Renault 19 more internal space, more than even the Tipo, and with the internally sculpted doors, more space across the car. The seat belts are designed for comfort too, with the anchor points adjustable to six different positions for individual comfort. The steering wheel also adjusts for height, and among the features available as options is power steering. This makes tight manoeuvring in the heavier 1.7 litre vehicles much easier and it gives greater control at speed. And it's interesting to note that the lower powered versions have been designed so as not to need power steering. The instrument panel is stylish and easy to read, a vital factor when driving at speed and there's the option of an onboard computer. The top quality stereo radio cassette system with its four 6 watt speakers is safe and easy to use when on the move. The electrics pack is designed for convenience. And the gearbox, as well as being easy to operate, is especially quiet, 
due to increasing the number of gear teeth and changing the center plate on the clutch. It's easier to maintain thanks to the fact that it's sealed for life. So there you are, the five stages of the walk round. Let's just summarize those again. At the front, the design and the range of engines. The suspension and build qualities giving better handling, road holding and protection. At the near side, badging and the sunroof. Round to the rear, the convenience of the low loading height and boot space. Next, the offside, stylish tinted windows and stylish wheels. The space efficient autoclave doors, which look good and increase space inside. And so, the final stage, the interior, the comfortable seats, more space than any of its competitors, adjustable seat belts and steering column for more comfort, a quiet and light gearbox, the convenience of the electrics pack. And the range of options includes power steering, an onboard computer, and an alarm system. It may sound a bit complicated at first, but in fact it's a very logical way of taking the customer through all the benefits and the features of the Renault 19. And that walk around will convince the customer of five more points which give the Renault 19 a clear lead in comfort, performance, style, quality, and range. So to you, good luck and good selling. From me, Andrew Harvey, goodbye.